good morning in today's video I will continue from the last video uh, the uh, the fixed window that we've done uh, a couple of days ago and I'm going to uh, create an awning uh, window just to create um, a second frame inside the outer frame that allow us to move this glass panel instead of this fixed unit so uh, I just uh, started from the previous uh, you know uh, video the fixed uh, window and I just rename it and I'm going to go to the reference plane and create two sorry going to go to the reference level creating two new reference planes as you can see and add a new dimension from the new to the old and from the new to the old and then use the predefined uh, label parameter uh, called frame width to have two frame width it's, it's a good idea to flex uh, just to make them 40 before we go ahead and start and it's worked properly and again just to highlight that this uh, this window is not an operable so it's just an indication uh, just having a second frame and then we have the you know the the panel that allow us to you know to have to see this double framing in here it's not really moving uh, in, in a 90 degree or a 45 degree like an actual awning anyway so again create an extrusion and then you use the pick lines uh, I'm gonna uh, select and lock same technique we used again uh, it's uh, okay I made a mistake so it shouldn't uh, shouldn't start up with here I should have created the inner uh, the inner frames first sorry for that so I'm gonna create two frames like you see here uh, probably move that a little bit down now DI from this one zoom in carefully and pick the reference plane and then move your hand make them equal and then just select together those two things and add the you know the frame thickness again where is it here now that's a little bit uh, uh, dangerous here you have to flex it you must actually here sometimes it's giving you a warning messages uh, it's not so it's working perfectly you can go ahead now and create your solid geometry so I'm gonna pick this guy and lock this guy and lock and the same thing now you have to trim and then finish go back to the exterior technically it's uh, here so you uh, we will need actually to create another reference plane here one here and another one here again di and then from the new to the old from the new to the old and then select them both and give them the frame width parameter then just select that guy and then you have to lock it uh, that's a little bit uh, you know uh, tricky it's uh, I, I, I have just to push that to the top level and then lock it and then I have to push this again to the lower level and then lock it uh, these guys that I created it's just I incorrectly create them now I should create them with the void will be you know dealt with for the void itself not for the, the uh, inner frame so what we're gonna have is this uh, you know we're gonna have another panel inside as you can see uh, with the same thickness for the the frame which is 30 or 40 I can't remember anyway so let's go create another extrusion but this time as a void and I'm gonna pick this lock this guy in lock and again pick up the reference to planes not the geometry faces and then trim that to get this and then finish again to the exterior now we have raised that up to here and then lock it then raise that to here and then lock it and you should have seen that it's been cut and if it's not cut it's okay just go ahead and cut it manually 
like this. It sound okay, but uh, let me see the glass. The glass panel is now touching the outer frame. It's you know it shouldn't. So just gonna move that, unlock that here. Just use the align tool, and then lock. I'm gonna just. Uh, Move that or unlock that to this and then lock it. Finish. You have to do the same thing. Uh, I believe in you know the the uh, top and down uh, faces. So I'm just gonna move that in here and then uh, it's gonna tell me I have to remove remove the constraint and lock it again. Do the same thing in here. Remove that and then you know lock the constraint and it won't change but just to make it a hundred percent accurate uh, you can see that it's worked perfectly it's actually look nice and perfect now let's flex and see you know all the problems so when I flex to 50 as a frame thickness it sound perfectly okay sadly <laughs> Now let's move the width into 1200. Uh, nothing wrong, which is really good. Now I'm gonna just change the height of that to 1500 and see if it's worked perfectly. Yep, everything is so far so good. Now it's look good, so I'm gonna go to three again and I'm going to annotate. And from annotate, I'm just gonna have a symbolic line. Uh, click at the end and then click at the midpoint and then from the end or the midpoint to the end in here uh, just select that guy and again that guy and move the select from the drop down menu just you uh, just a hidden projection just to give you the indication that this is the handle here and gonna move from this point and those two are just hinge and fixed uh, save that uh, family and be aware that when you go to annotation and create this they will show only in <coughs> sorry only in this specific elevation so if i go to 3d i shouldn't see anything and that's what we want in in a real uh, uh, real case scenario anywho so grow create file and then you project and browse for a metric system almost there create a wall, place that wall and then go back to your window, the new one, the owning one, uh, just load it, and as you can see it's uh, sound okay, and let me just change the to shaded, so uh, you can see that this is the 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 window place in the wall uh, I'm gonna just change the type again flex it again I have nothing to lose hit apply and uh, let's make this 2000 by 2000 big okay it's working probably we'll make it like uh, 600 by 800 more like a bathroom size uh, nothing uh, incorrect everything is work perfectly I'm just gonna go change this uh, uh, sill beautiful so everything is so fine and uh, nothing actually wrong so I'm gonna go level one let's flex this again change the wall type itself and see if it's gonna follow uh, correctly maybe make it uh, 300 beautiful uh, brick Great. Notes that this is changed because it's uh, the height, the sill height is actually higher than the cut level for the reference plane. So you need either to change the setting for the view range or just lower your window or create a plan, a view plan only for that for that part. Anyway, not our subject, but now I see it. Uh, that's my window. Uh, flexing the wall was working perfectly. Flex the frame and it was work also okay I'll just make it back to 50 
uh, you can go ahead and go to North Elevation have a look you're gonna see this and uh, if, it, if you didn't see the lines as a dashed or a hidden lines just change the scale and it's gonna you know show a different uh, a line type for that and you can see this is, is only seen in the elevation uh, probably in the north one the south one yes yeah, still having it beautiful but you have to change the you know the scale but it isn't it's not gonna shown in the you know in the 3d uh, one last thing to check again is the ability to add the material or to change the material I quite sure change sure that I changed that frame material here here or created that sorry and just change that to anything you like just to flex and check if the everything is going you know to work perfectly and it's yeah as you can see uh, everything is fine so uh, that's it guys uh, now we have our awning window it have you know and it's have a two frames technically one for the you know the major the window itself to be fixed in the wall and one for the operable frame to contain the glass uh, in it uh, anyway guys thank you very much uh, for watching and have a good day bye